the light within by Abbott George Burke. The light of the sun, the light that shines above the heavens and above the, this world, the light that shines in the highest world beyond which there are no others, that is the light that shines in the hearts of men. Now that light which shines beyond this heaven, beyond the whole creation, beyond everything, is in the highest worlds which are unsurpassably good, is certainly this which is the light within a person. It is the light of the self which is also divinity itself. As a student of the Upanishad's wisdoms through his master, Jesus St. John wrote, This then is the message which we have heard of him, Jesus, and declared unto you that God is light. I, John 1, 5, that light is purely spiritual, spirit actually beyond the light we see in this world, but which nevertheless is also a manifestation or extension of that light, as is the entire creation. In all the worlds and beyond all the worlds, it is one light that shines in and us all. What a glorious truth, as profound as it is simple, the Lord should be un unto unto you. An everlasting life and thy God, thy glory. Isaiah 60, 19. This was the essence teaching which Jesus received men, which received even in infancy. Original Christianity, which was rooted in the Upanishads, taught that divine light was the light of men, the true light, which lighteth every man. John 1 4. Without exception, that light cannot be alienated from us, but is ever the essence of our existence, making us the children of light. John 12 36. This is the real gospel, the good news of real religion. The light that is Brahman. This light is transcendent because God is transcendent and so are we. Because truly has this universe come forth from Brahman. It, in Brahman it lives and has its being. Assuredly all is Brahman. Let a man freed from the taint of passion worship Brahman alone. Again, all this is Brahma. This is born from, dissolves in, and exists in that. Therefore, one should meditate by becoming calm. Really, what can or need be said about this incredible assertion? All is Brahman. <laughs> What we can consider is the final part, the practical advice, which in the Sanskrit text is only two words. Shanta Yupasiti. Literally, they mean <coughs> draw near peacefully or go near peacefully. Yupanasa means to sit or draw near and is usually understood to mean either worship or meditation. In the Greek original of the New Testament, the word translated prayer is prosekki, which also means to draw near. The Greek word translated worship is prosekkinia, which has the same meaning. The important thing to realize is that true worship and meditation are both an inner process, for God is the light that shines within each one of us, as the first verse quoted points out. 
So to draw near to that light, we must turn within. As Jesus said, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17, 21. The inner search must be shant up peacefully. This is a major key in yoga. All meditation must be done calmly and carefully. Otherwise, it will be impossible to perceive and assimilate the subtle states of awareness which meditation should produce. The mind must be as still as a mirror to really meditate, and meditation alone produces that stillness. Meditation is being described by St. Paul when he says, We are with open face beholding as a mirror the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Corinthians 2 3, 18. This is why in the book of Revelation, which Paramahansa Yogananda <coughs> said is a book about yoga, it says that a sea of glass, like a great mirror, is before the throne of God. As a saint stood upon it, this symbolizes the perfectly still mind of the yogi by which he experiences higher realities. Revelation 4.6 The Yogi's Will Now the second half of the verse we just examined, a man is above all his will. As his will in this life, so does he become when he departs from it. Therefore, should his will be fixed on attaining Brahma, this is surely one of the most important statements in the Upanishads. The will is the highest facility we possess. It is higher even than the intellect. For we often say, I won't think about it right now. And we do not because the will will control it. The only thing higher than the will is the self. The will approaches closer to the self than any other aspect of our being. This is so important because the quality of our religion and our yoga is determined by which aspect is the basic of our belief and practice. We have five levels or bodies. They are the physical, material body, the magnetic or bioenergy body, the sensory mind, the intellectual mind, the intellect, the will, they also correspond to the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and ether, which is also the seats of the five senses, smell, taste, sight, touch, and hearing. The will is the kosha, which corresponds to the highest element of ether, with special facility to sound. Both the passive facility of hearing and the active facility of speech, which is why yoga also works with sound. Yoga is the way to correct and develop the will. Since we are all will according to the Upanishads, it must be made alive through meditation. Only through yoga can we gain mastery of the will and thereby of ourselves. If in this life we become yai to Brahma, when we leave this world we will go to Brahma. Then Sakvagana son of Sivu asked him, the Rishi, Venerable sir, which world does he who meditates on own until the end of his life win by that? To him he say, that which is the sound of O, O Shakyama, is verily the higher and the lower Brahman. Therefore, with his support alone, does the wise man reach the one or the other. If he meditates on the Supreme Being, Parushika, with the syllable Om, he becomes one with the light, the sun. He is led to the world of Brahma. He sees the person 
that dwells in the body. Who is higher than the highest life, that the wise man attains, even by the mere sound, own a support, that which is tranquil, unaging, immortal, fearless, and supreme? You can't get more detailed or more authoritative than that. If in this life, therefore, should his will be fixed on attaining Brahma, concludes this verse. For us, Krishna said, when a yogi has meditated upon me unceasingly for many years with an undistracted mind, I am easy of access to him because he is always absorbed in me.